My name is Roshi McKenna and I work as part of a research team which is led by Dr. Kate Woodcock at Queen's University Belfast. I would like to tell you about a research study we are conducting at the moment. The study is called In Control, which stands for Identifying Contexts that Negatively Impact on the Regulation of Life. The work of our research team aims to understand more about the different factors that can influence the behaviours that some children show, which can have a negative impact on their well-being. We then use this knowledge to develop helping strategies aiming to improve children's lives. For example, in one of our current projects, we are testing a helping strategy that is based on knowledge about the difficult behaviours some children show in particular situations. And in another one of our current projects, we are developing a video game based training program to improve children's skill in a brain process that we know is linked to difficult behaviour in some children. In the control study, we are focusing on children with trisomy X. This is because we know that certain kinds of behaviours that can be difficult for children and their families are more common in these children. We are also focusing on some other groups of children who are also more likely to show these sorts of behaviours. We are aiming to find out which sorts of situations are most important for the difficult behaviours that children show. For example, one child may often show temper outbursts when they feel disappointed, but when another child feels disappointed, they might become sad and then withdraw and be unable to complete their current activity. Another child might show little difficult behaviour when they feel disappointed, but may show very difficult behaviour when they feel that they've been treated unfairly. We are aiming to understand more about the brain processes that drive these types of differences between children. The brain processes we are particularly interested in are called control processes. They allow us to control our thoughts, actions and emotions in line with our current goals and the restrictions placed on us by our surroundings. Critically, we know that these brain processes can be altered with practice and training. Ultimately then, we hope that understanding more about exactly how these brain processes impact on children's behaviours will help us to develop training programmes tailored to meet the unique needs of each individual child. In this study, we are looking for children aged at least 6 but less than 16 years old and their caregivers to take part. Some children who take part may have a learning disability, but not all will. In terms of academic and social skills at school, the research activities are aimed at pre-teens. So it is only participating children who have a learning disability who might be in their teenage years. Because the study ultimately aims to inform on the development of helping and training strategies, we are looking for children whose well-being is currently negatively affected by difficult behaviours such as aggression, sad, anxious or worried reactions, temper outbursts, withdrawal or disengagement, not complying with requests, or destroying or mistreating things in the environment. Importantly, it doesn't matter where in the world families are based, as long as you and your child speaks English, it is possible to participate from anywhere in the world where you can get access to the internet. For children, the research activities include computer-based game-like assessments and some questions on feelings. For caregivers, there are questions about children's thoughts, feelings and behaviours. These activities should take no longer than two hours for children and one hour for caregivers and can be completed flexibly. If the family would like, I or another researcher can facilitate all of the training assessments via telephone or Skype because we have found that this can sometimes help children enjoy their part in the research more. Also, for families who live close to us in Belfast or who can arrange to meet us at another research centre or conference, there may be an opportunity to complete the research activities with me or another researcher in person. We hope that this study sounds as exciting to you as it does to us. If you are interested in finding out more or have any questions, please get in touch. You can email me at rmckenna31 at qub.ac.uk 
or you can contact Dr. Kate Woodcock, who leads our research team at k.woodcock at qub.ac.uk or you can telephone Kate on 0044-28909-74886. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.